What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing a hybrid between Trick Mac and Garg Mac. Uh, Trick Mac, of course, is where you're running strong one drops, especially the Zombology teacher. You're gonna be buffing them uh, with your superpowers like Brute Strength, Rock Wall. Uh, the other two will be protecting them and keeping them on the field. Uh, you're also going to be buffing them using a going viral. Uh, the card, like a genetic experiment, grows by itself, so it's really good card in the stack, and Con Man just does uh, a ton of damage. We're running the other half of the deck, uh, is that we're running Guard Mech, which is Gargologist. So obviously, we're not running any barrels or final missions, but we're running Gargologist, which is going to make your Gargs cost two less. And then we have two different types of Gargantuars. This one will cost three. If you have the Gargologist on the field, the nice thing about it, besides for high stats, is that even if they damage this, uh, it's going to be making uh, Mystery Egg, so at least leave some value on the field. A little minion, which you can use it going viral and buff. Defensive end, also just a difficult card to remove. Uh, it is armored, and it makes, again, your opponent's uh, tricks a lot less effective, making them cost more. A cool combo in a deck like this is being able to run Gargologist, playing this on turn 3, and then protecting it with Zombot's Wrath. This is a Gargantuar trick, so it will only cost 1 if you have the Gargologist on the field. Uh, this will basically be able to protect your Gargologist. There's nothing really that has 3 attack on turn 3 and then also has 4 health. I don't think. I guess Rescue Radish. Um, but that that that's definitely going to be a combo which protects your Gargologist. Then on turn 4 you're going to either be able to play Defensive End or you can play your Hippity Hop Garg uh, plus another card. Uh, the Quasar is going to be really good to play on turns 3 and 4. Uh, the superpower goes a long way. That superpower, of course, is free uh, with the Zombology Teacher, so there's plenty of synergy there. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. We will get right into the game. No, I'm not running Guard Feast. That will make this deck go to die. Um, if you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10, vote yes, yeah, 7 and 3 or fewer, vote no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash from... And of course, in case you didn't know, we have mugs that say mug on them. It's so beautiful. Come on, guys. The link to the merch shop is in the description of every YouTube video. Every recent one. Uh, so this is cool. The cool thing about this deck is that not only do you have a really strong early game strategy in the trick mech, but you also have like a late game plan. I wonder if we even go for the Gargologist here, though. I think I'm gonna just look for another, either a trick or like a treat. Uh, so this, against Captain and Buffalo, we kind of have to just look at the... It was actually the original makers, the Discord guy who made uh, uh, Trick Mech, the first version, was the one who really pointed at, emphasized that against Kabloom Heroes, you gotta play your teacher on turn one and protect it so it does not get Berry Blast, since this is gonna be one of the main engines of the deck. Looks like he is running Banana Bomb. Which is okay. We it, we could spam two of these. We also could go one plus rock wall. I think I'm gonna spam two. They buff each other. Howdy, Barry, if we play you one, go on for rock wall very Park often. We'll just Barry blast it. Canada so. as a friggin' tundra. Thank you, chicken gossip. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, a lot of like a not even that snow, but just like wind and blizzard storms this last week in Canada. Hope everyone. Canada is all right. So he actually took out both of our minions, so we're not in a good position. This is actually the time where I'm really happy I'm running five and six cost cards in this deck, just because they're going to be able to bring us back into the game. We'll have a few cards here. We can counter this with Wrath. Not expecting Wrath there. So much better than exploding fruitcake in that situation, because keeps the cards even. Thank you, Eric. Alright, so we can go for the teacher. Again, if he removes it, it's a one for one. If not, it makes these more efficient. <coughs> yeah, this will definitely be a rock wall here. Maybe not. So he's just, I mean, uh, this could be a sniper. He's running so much small removal. Holy moly with that. We're still even in cards. He's got a bunch of three cost four four click peas. Really would like a garg at this point, and now we're living up to Trick Mag's name. Brick mech. Bruh. Uh, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go and viral for a card here. I know if it's more than virals, but the chances of this... Next couple of cards we draw being a going viral are low. That's very sad. 
Uh, now we have card disadvantage, unfortunately. Uh, and we did get this. this is such a strong card. I wonder what, where this goes, even. I, I'll put that on heights. Because it's probably the first card we want to hit face for the next at least three turns here. I hope he doesn't have an answer to this, though. That's going to go up to seven. Oh, my gosh. So he does have an answer to our... To our... Our Garg, and we're still down a card if we count this one. It's a little bit easier to deal with. This is see the fruit cakes are actually killing us because it's giving us card disadvantage. And there's that. <laughs> this is actually what he got from fruit cake. We're getting so brave. I think this deck has so much potential, but we're just getting all these tricks now. Come on, man. I, I can't take 13 damage this turn. It's not an option. So now we have a two-card disadvantage. I might rem I don't know. I, do we just remove the free cakes from this deck? I wonder if they've been saving us or if they've been killing us. This actually survives if we had six health threat. But the guy just has all banana bombs. This is such a bad matchup considering that he's running so much smooth. <laughs> Here's a card. We are getting so bricked. So this actually works. We can't take this damage, so we gotta front it. We're not running Garg Feast. Alright, I'm all in on this card now. I have to. I need this to survive, just to be able to get back in this game. What is he running, though? Like he has four cards in hand and none of them were playable there. I don't I don't do I play I'm gonna wait till I get it going viral to play this. We just need more guard. I wonder if I just take out the fruit cakes and put in more guards into the deck or something. That's okay. But he's drawing cards now, it's cats and cucumber, it hurts. You know, if he plays a huge minion here, we're gonna need to chump block it anyway. He got that from Captain Cucumber. Did he get Captain Cucumber from the fruitcake? No. Too bad. I mean, the guy's just running four banana bombs, and he got three of them, I think. But there's no way we're gonna win this now. We're just out of cards. If, the problem is, if we don't run any fruit cakes. If he plays a card like we can, like anything, if he plays any big card, we automatically lose, so... You have to run Fruitcake. But yeah, it didn't, did not work out here. I mean, we got one we got one guard the whole game. And he just had some removal for our, for our small cards. Um, this way, it technically, gives us a chance of winning. Being live, I mean. Alright, terrible first game, but again, terrible matchups. We don't know if it was a sniper. Dexter one. Garg feast, guys. I don't know. Like, in that situation, it, where we get no gargs and he has three banana bombs early, it would give us an out. But I don't think we could run garg feast logically in this day. Again, I, I can't. I'd love to. Not, I'd love to run something other than fruitcake in this deck. Even like rocket, like the cost of fruitcake. The fact it's so cheap. You know, I'd rather something that doesn't give you card disadvantage. The problem with that is, is this: if they play one big card, you lose. <laughs> the problem. <laughs> I did not have an answer to teaching. Guys, don't worry about that first game though. This deck is this deck is fine. You know what I mean? We're we're gonna be doing just fine here. 
Uh, we'll go for the... We'll do the Quasar. It'll probably give us a tempo flow here. No, it won't. Oh my god. Terrible Quasar. Absolutely. This is... I mean, there's, there's probably the absolute worst card from Quasar, right? It's the one that doesn't affect the field at all. Not a squat. So we have to do this now, unfortunately. A really super powerful card on a 2-drop. But it's okay. But uh, I think we I think we have some tempo now. Going viral is gonna go a long way here. Let's go for going viral or rap. The the drawing a random card from Quasar is it's not gonna reliably keep our minions alive here. Eh? That's all he does. We wrap it. Hell yeah. So now we have Quasar superpower going viral. Uh, he could end up chopping us. Let's see if he gets. Bit bit base down. That's oh, annoying. Just use regular kick. I don't know about that, man. Um, so it's either two plus a random superpower or an option. I, I guess I'll go for the option this turn. Not a great curve. And honestly, this superpower having done anything would have made such a big difference in this game. Yes, yeah, removal. Oh, we need another card. Even getting another going far back is fine. Also, three three. It's pretty good. So he used um he used Holoflora. So we don't have to play around. We don't have to play around the going far here. This is gonna be three four. It's pretty good. Get the three cost wrath. It'll at least correct one of these trades if he plays a big minion. If not, it'll just remove a card completely. There's no six cost wrath unless you, I don't know. I guess if you get Neptuna Super from Quasar or something like that, you can get the six cost wrath, the six damage wrath. Those are the hardest things to pull off in this game. That's cool though. Definitely hold on to this. Use it for Could have actually gone face with the wrath, but like if he doesn't roll double threes, if the block meter just has some semblance of being just cooperative at all, then you can just wrath to face this next turn. But so much for that. We got strength. It doesn't do anything. He's at two health. The, the quasars have been god awful. Okay, there's Q. Great. I gotta prop the block with anything first and then wrath to face. I'm not gonna go for the one in three yet. Here's this. Play around. He's running lawnmower and cuke. Okay. <coughs> Your name is Shipotian. You know what's going on. I like that. I think blue stacks is being weird. Does that look better? No. There. Um. So, yeah. Give one of those. Get some eggs. So we just gotta proc the block, then we win. We're still 20 health. It's still sitting in our hands. Come on. Going far. Okay, that's what we needed last turn. I, I think we'll be okay here. Proc the block, and we'll wrap this guy. You have gotten so unlucky this stream so far. You might as well keep playing. <laughs> What's score? I know, and right? <laughs> I think three. I think we got this one though. That's fine. The, the strength is actually gonna proc the block here, so that's good. I think we're good now, guys. It's another going viral. Why not? Doesn't really do anything. And uh, here's this. The only thing that can save him right now is him healing. Watch him get like poppin' poppies from this Captain Cucumber man. Oh, uh, we could just win here. That would be nice. Roll the one. Roll the one. Roll the one. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Forgot about Geyser? Yeah, maybe. Ah! Guys, this deck is fine. <laughs> this guy, though. Uh, we'll, we'll go. Yeah, Con Man is exactly what we need here. 
Double con man against uh, Solar Flare. Don't get much better than that. Thank you, Eric, gifting one to Nikki Bear. <laughs> Should have named the deck Ohio May. He supers that. Not very consequential. What are we gonna do here? We have strength. It's not a card that protects our teacher against anything. Oh, now we do. All right, we'll go with this. He's probably not gonna be able to like remove teacher plus. This should have gone in lane four so we can set up the genetics at two. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. But yeah, this is a lot of um. This is a lot of stuff here. Give the strength. Spread the level a little bit so we're not investing too much into one minion. Uh, he actually gets two more damage racked up here, so he's going to be down to six just like that. <coughs> um, so he's going to have a banana peel. Question is, do I want Quasar Super or do I want to go in viral here? I, I think the going viral can put him away. I'm not 100% sure about that. He's definitely removing one. What if he removes two cards? Is going viral still worth it? Probably is. It's probably better than the Quasar. Do you celebrate Christmas? Not really. I have a hard time with holidays because I mean I grew up like Jewish, so I'm so used to holidays being this religious thing. So when you start talking about like literally Christmas um, as a holiday, I'm like, mm, I don't really, I don't know. It doesn't talk to me. So we got him with the going viral. You got it with a solar flare with banana launching. Good crap. Too slow. Your bar mitzvah Parsha was about Ephraim and Menashe. Cool. That would be Parsha Vayera, right? Told us? Vayera? Told us? I don't know. I remember what the name of the Torah portion is with the Prime and Menasha being born. Told us. Told us. It was told us. Nailed it. <laughs> That's a pretty decent starting hand. We'll go with this first. Good answer to forget me nuts. Preemptive answer. I think we just ignore this and go face. It slows us down a little bit the next turn. I mean, he could end up trying to protect this. This is going to be sad eventually, but maybe we just go face here. Alright, you know what? If he does protect this, then the genetic experiment basically gets out of control this turn. Because it's going to go up to 4-3 next turn. And... That's okay. So he couldn't afford to protect it. That's the consideration. Since we have a, a must-answer card on the field, he can't afford a photosynthesizer. Plus he takes the extra damage. A lot. So here's this. Oh my gosh. Look at this Gargologist here. This is exactly what we needed. Holy moly with that. This, you know, nice having a card with armor to put a set up. That takes two damage. La -dee -da, we can protect whatever the hell we want right now. Um, so do we go face or do we go? He must have top decked this from the walnut, but or else he should have done that the other way. I mean, two plus two kills this. It really messes. Up. Yeah, you know, we're playing on the shrinking violet. Well. We could go face. I think this is better. It prevents damage coming in. It really does put pressure on the Strike Keratops. It'll die next turn unless he intervenes. And intervening is expensive. Photosynthesizer costs three this turn. Shrinking Violet is not even a thing. We're definitely not going. We're going for the defensive end player on Shrinking Violet. You don't go for the hippity here. That's a really, really strong four cost defensive end on a, a board that's killing him. I mean, he's at nine health. Gargalge is still alive. Triceratops is going to die in four. Unless he does something of that. And if that's all he does this turn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're in such good shape. So, uh, the Common trades. And that's guaranteed lethal, actually, yeah. Because he draws a card. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Three and one. Here we go, guys. Don't get discouraged from that first game. What What are the bets? I bet that first game, since we lost so badly, the bets are 48% yes, 52 no. Everyone thought that first game, they're like, oh no, it's not gonna work. Y'all freaked out. Y'all are freaking out now, aren't you? Let's go. That's a cool hand. Do you keep two of these? We could just one, two, three, and then the Berry Blast absorbs us and he doesn't have an answer to the second one. I, I think it's fine. With, since we're going for Hippity Hop, let's just keep Double Gargala to screw with. There's too many cards with three health here. Spadao is very good at that. He has two superpowers plus Berry Blast to deal with the stuff. Plus Primal Potato Mine and I don't know. Anyone run a Hot Date anymore? Once Toxic Waste and became not meta, Hot Date kind of became <laughs> not a thing. So it's two and then three we can protect with a Lightning Bolt. This is like a Jabay. I mean, it's a powerful turn one play. If he's going for Forget Me Nuts, he can forget about. Forget about. I came it. the second you started getting lucky. Too bad this means I'm gonna jinx you by saying this. Okay. Sounds good. Would have voted yes if you ran Garg Feast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boomer. <laughs> Have you ever considered throwing the first game intentionally for Honestly, content? I'll tell you honestly, I've never even considered it. I've never even come close. This is the first for throwing the first game to make it more exciting. I'm only allowed to lose two games for it to be a yes. I mean, we'll still post, you know, seven and threes. Even six and four is sometimes the fun stream. It'll go on YouTube, but... This guy's name is Bugs or Bugs. So, I don't know, do I develop the teacher here too? I don't think the teacher does enough, and then he removes the teacher, the Gargologist could theoretically get in trouble. Okay, how does uh, a Spadal, this is the real question, how does a Spadal remove, do 3 damage on turn 3? Like, does he have any actual 3 drops that do 3 damage? It can run like a strawberry, like what? What is he, what practically does Spadal run on 3 that messes this up? He doesn't really have the high minions. I'm, I'm gonna go with this. Because now if he deals with the teacher, he's definitely not gonna be able to deal with the Gargologist. Unless he has Banana Bomb Berry Blast or something like that. And if he doesn't deal with the teacher, the, this is active anyway. He might really just be persuaded to go after the teacher instead of going out. Like if he has a Primal Potato Mine. Because like, uh, I guess this is scarier. The, the teacher doesn't actually do much here, other than being a 2-1 body, since if we didn't play teacher, we could play Lightning Bolt anyway. I mean, we are able to play the Lightning Bolt. If he doesn't answer something, we can save it for next turn and go 3 and well, We can go 3 and 1 anyway. I don't know. It's more a psychological thing. Is he quitting? We're ahead. He played a card. He played a card, right? Yeah, he killed one of the Gargolas. Alright, that's a win. Has he ever threw the first game? It's called What Fun Would That Be? <laughs> followed by an evil laugh. Okay, okay, okay. But it's not throw it's not throwing the first game. <laughs> and it's also not, it's not <laughs> That's prioritizing hat making the fun play. <laughs> it's different. Shut up. <laughs> I think you always keep these. Uh, yeah, since we have Teacher, the Quasar's super OP. Um, okay, I, I just don't know, am I gonna go go with the, the, the Quasar? I think it's, this is our all, I don't want this getting in trouble and then having to use a Lightning Bolt on turn one, not having it for turn two. We don't have a turn two play if we end up using a Lightning Bolt. So we pass turn one against non-Berry Blast Hero, thank you. 
And then we're gonna go two, three. And the Quasar can go middle lane. It's the perfect card to get. It's to get <laughs> blasted by his P. Get P blasted. <laughs> Right, right in the middle lane. That's you don't wanna, you don't want this getting people. You don't want the teacher, your teacher getting p blasted, cause then, bro, overkill, man. All right, we don't lightning bolt. It's a good answer. But two and three kills this. So maybe something good will happen. We get a one, a two. We gotta develop Quasar. Going for these two cards against a 3 4. I don't know. Oh, deadly? Okay. Oh my god. We've got like the best. I mean, hard to argue that this isn't the best superpower in the game. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm out there in time to shine. Best zombie superpower. Definitely best in regular. What was this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this worth it even to deadly here? Okay. I mean, we have to answer this, right? So we end up with no field, which is... Uh, we have card advantage, though. So that's cool. Thanks, Qua Oh my gosh, Quasar. As bad as the Quasar superpowers were in game one, now they're, now they're awesome. Okay, so we'll set this up again. I don't actually want this one getting blasted. We need two minions to be on the field. Can we get a good one here? Okay. If this trades even with something, and then draws us a card, it'll be worth it. We just need minions. We're a little bricked right now. Bro, why? We just wrath this next turn. Why did he not Quasar it here also? He really likes Snapdragon. Huh? We need a leap! We need a leap! This... This is fine. One cost wrath. And then the stupid guy, I don't know. Bruh. Bruh. Second click B. Really hurts. Is going viral to play here? Oh, it definitely is. Oh my gosh, I almost wrath this. No, it's definitely going viral. Because it, get, it maintains the card and then it kills two minions. They don't have to kill the 3-3. They don't have to do anything. Okay, now we have... Well, we can wrath it. We can also actually buff the Witch's Familiar. The Bat. We can actually play Bat, Healthy Treat, and Going Viral all this turn. And we can play this card. Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> this turn's gonna turn out pretty damn good. Okay, we can play the Wrath now too. Oh, we can play everything. Don't freeze it. You know what, we'll just Wrath this anyway. Uh, let's go in Viral first, just to see what we get here. He's pinging his... No, he's not pinging his face, we're Wrathing that one. So we're definitely buffing you. Fruitcake is not what we need. I'm telling you guys, the fruitcakes have been absolute game losing. This is like the worst card for us to have. But we do draw another card here from Witch is Familiar, so that's huge. Love it when you buff this and it lives. Now it's a threat. Wrath is also not what we needed. It's probably Blow when he's thinking about it. There's another teacher. Do we develop this teacher though? That's tough. This teacher doesn't really do much, but this fruitcake. This is the worst card. Pack. You know what? I don't know. I, uh, maybe I'll just run two fruitcake. I'm just so afraid. <laughs> the teacher absorbed the blow. That was perfect. Teacher. He blew the teacher. Guys, he blew the teacher. He blew the. T okay, now fruitcake is good because it's a two for one. So now he's, he gets a card back, but this is fine. Man just blew the teacher. Perfect teacher absorbing that superpower. He saved it last turn for some reason. Um, Alright, so this will go here. There's no drink playing around drinking violet. I don't care. Uh, yep, we just need damage. Damage on the man fan. We basically have double lightning bolt. And it looks like that's... What, oh my gosh. 
That is so scary if you don't have an answer to it, but we do. Absolutely, positively. Hit, hit, proc the block. I don't mind, it's just rolling once. Okay. Okay. We take those. <laughs> These fruitcakes have been hot god. Maybe you don't. Maybe the way to answer a big card is by playing a big card. I don't know, man. And we're getting into so many games where we're getting bricked to the late game. You know what? Screw it. I'll run and run another raft just to have a little bit of more Zemblins of removal, and then we'll have two more late game cards. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, I should have amorticed in the water to get six damage wrath. Oh, really? This is the game that we're gonna run into Bicanalith. Watch. Are we five or six now? Oh, we're dominating is what we're doing. Yeah, that's fine. Hell yeah! Uh, did I take a screenshot? I, I might. Oh yeah, I did. I'll try to switch it up here. Guys, we're, we're fruit. I feel naked. We're fruit cakeless. That is, that's a cool starting hand. And it's also against non removal, dude. How are we going to do this exactly? All right. It, it's good enough. It's good enough. I mean, it's possible for him to kill this on two. We could wait till turn three. You know what? Screw it. We'll see what we get. I don't have to play it on two. We'll also see what he plays here. That's fine. So we actually just... All this did was take blow out of his hand. Let's see what our next draw is, then we'll decide if we're going... The, the, the turn two play is very high risk and high reward. If he does kill this, kind of sucks. On the other hand, if he is not able to do three damage, like how? It has to be split P or fire P. Or like, or, or like Ice Age Baby combo. How does he do three damage? There are ways, though. He already uses Blow, so that's, remember, that takes out a way. You know what? This is such a solid play with a guy who doesn't have a removal play this turn. It's two one cost three twos. We'll, we'll do it the same way. <coughs> it's gotta be right. Yeah, that would not have, <laughs> would not have gotten it done. But that's okay. We draw our one drop trades for the two drop, and the result is we get extra tempo on the field. Now we can. Now we're playing solid because we have this play. Why did I put this here to play around shrinking violet eventually? Uh, one and four, I guess. That's fine. Question is, should I commit this treat already? Is this having a bunch of stat? Well, if he's going to remove, well... Is this having a bunch of stat? He can't really deal one damage. It's green shadow. I think I'm going to save these for... Well, it'll do one more damage next turn. Alright, since we have two healthy traits. And... I'm going to... I'll make this into its own. It's own threat. So we have three plus one now. Oh my gosh, we have three plus one. Holy crap, that's a good hippity hop too. <laughs> the chat is spamming ad guard feast. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Guys, don't bully me. It's not nice. So this is... Oh. We actually don't even lose this trade. This is 11, 12, 13, 14 damage, man. I just wonder if we wrath this one. Ah, screw it. Let's go face for five. Ah, eh, screw it. Happy I buffed this, though. Extra damage, why not? We're getting close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jolly Holly in three would be a decent play here. That's a great... It's four-cost defensive end, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Got some of that Jolly. Holly. Oh... 
Your mom's a jolly holly ho. This doesn't die. Maybe that maybe we don't use any of these. He can't deal one day. Oh, screw it. I'll use these next turn. I'm not gonna have you know. I'm not gonna be like be able to spend my hand unless we get going viral and then another going viral, in which case we win anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna be able to spend all six brains next turn anyway. Might as well keep these and play them smarter rather than faster. That was a great play, but honestly, we won both trades. Now it's like, now what? Give the man a winter melon. I don't know. Give him like, like winter squash and two little two ice age two two snow snow snowdrops, whatever they're called. Two uh, iceberg lettuces. Two What's snowballs. Let's just call them snowballs. I say typical snowballs. You gotta deepen your voice for the balls. Sounds way better. What's a car that people forget exists? Typical beanstalk? Yeah, I know, right? It's so sad because leafy synergy is just like, eh. Hey, what about making a leafy deck without Savage Thin? And that's a stupid idea. Oh my gosh, this man and his freezes, what is he doing? Stop. Oh my gosh, that like answered three cards. That's crazy. No egg. Egg should be amphibious. Changed my mind. I hope it doesn't conjure like a, I don't know, sour grapes? It doesn't actually kill this. I feel like something bad is about to happen. Okay, so that's frozen. <laughs> gonna freeze us to the ice age. Literally. I wanna win this game! <laughs> we have quadruple lethal! Triple now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, this guy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Do I let this die? It goes up to four, but it doesn't really. I don't think I, I even save this because we don't. We just need three damage. This guy is so annoying. We need a removal card. I really just want to develop this Quasar, is what I really want to do. Give us something good. Here's Blow. We take the Blow. It's so no If he comes back and wins this game, it's going in the highlight. Like no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. We still win. We still win. I don't care. I don't care. Obama made me do it. I don't care. That's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> Just because you're annoying, I'm BMing you. Ah, we have wrath. Yes! Wrath the face! Yeah, that's way better. That's way better. Wrath. Then I took a wrath the face. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got him. I was just delaying the inevitable. Oh my gosh, it was scary. Come on, bro. Should that just go in the in the fail comp? Okay, it'll go in the fail comp. It was at it was game seven. How many Jolly Hollies did he play? Was it two or three? It was at least two. <sighs> yeah. Hold on to the going viral. <coughs> man, look at this guy. You know, that's fine. Honestly, the con man's better here. The teacher, it doesn't really do anything. We don't have enough tricks. Oh, we're going for the late game here, aren't we? Uh, doesn't really matter where this goes. It's kind of practically better in lane 4, so if your opponent blocks and then draws a card before, then this will die. I think that's a good enough, because we have to, we have to, to get this going viral next turn. Just to have some, uh, you really just have to keep tempo established in this deck, so. It's really important to keep your guys alive. Oh my gosh, now we're bricked. now I'm running eight gargs and we're bricked with the gargs. That's the, you know what? It's better than having three fruitcakes here, I think. Yeah. 
So that's fine. That's a good going viral too. This will be a 2-5, way beyond his removal capabilities. Going phase, we get that going viral back. Let's top deck a one drop. And then this uh, going viral is playable. Into Garg, into Garg. Honestly, against Captain Combustible, once you play these cards, it's kind of over. He has to repeat moss combo you. This prevents. This is actually an anti repeat moss combo card. I didn't even think about that when adding it to the deck. Hello. That's. That, I mean, it just trades. It's okay. I think we going viral here. It makes the con man really strong. It doesn't do anything here. But, you know, it draws another card. It going viral is useful after these, but at the end of the day, we're not going to be able to play one until turn, like, 8 here. They're going viral, so they might as well spend it. Get the, you know, we're getting so much damage. Ridiculous. Okay, so, this is a little bit counterintuitive, but you always want to play the Hippie Hop Garg as much to the right as possible. Uh, the reason is because when it throws this egg, when it takes damage, you always want that egg to go to the left, so it's not involved in an attack phase. Uh, egg stats are 0 2. So, um. So it dies for free and does not get to hatch and get value. So that is going to the right. He just can't afford to take the 6 damage, so he just loses this trade here. He gives us another egg here. Hell yeah. A Gargologist? Well, it's not even playable now. I was gonna say Gargologist Garg Wrath would have been good, but. Ain't playable. Going viral would be fine. So, it's, it, I mean, okay, we could go Quasar, 3 damage, plus Quasar power. The problem is here, 3 damage doesn't do anything. Well, it kind of does. Because 3 plus 3 will kill and make the Con Man go phase. Defensive end is really, really strong, though. It, it takes two cards for him to remove. He can't make a 4-4 trade against it. He has so many other things on the board. Let's just go with defensive end. He also has to team up these. Plus, the Wrath can just go face next turn. Okay, guys, we're going to go for the 6 damage Wrath next turn. This is what we're doing. Gosh. Well, no, that doesn't do enough. Oh, does it? It's 5? Oh, my gosh. It's 5 plus 2. He actually killed this. Hello. Oh my gosh, and it's click. Holy crap, that turn did not work. Holy crap, that turn did not work out. Come on, egg. Hatch. It's like it's like a Pokemon who's just like trying to break out of the Pokeball. It's like, oh, no, uh-uh. Nope. Alright, well at least we got two eggs. But he has eight health. Oh, this is not. It's not a good situation. So now what? Teacher, we can go six. No. I need one of these to hatch into a Gargologist. Now what? Let's just do this. I don't know, man. We'll throw another egg. We can't play the superpower yet, but we'll have it for next turn. <laughs> Box room? That's cool, actually. Onion rings into shrooms. And Lily. Ugh. Barrel? I hope this just doesn't have one health, though. Well, that's fine. Oh. Actually, not bad, uh... Not bad eggs? The, the egg revival? Uh, we'll get another egg here. I think we're fine. This this brain freeze power, honestly, in this stage of the game is really, really good. Because, uh, you know, teacher makes it free, but we're able to make two really important trades here. Which is awesome. So there's Gargologist. So we can go... It's Dar Gargologist gets way more value here than teacher, right? Teacher makes this cost two. This makes this cost four less. This... So again, two, four, six. Yeah. So we're gonna go like this. We'll go with the Garg. And the Brain Freeze power is gonna make our minions live and his die in a card advantage game. So this goes a long way. We can also Wrath this one. We could maybe Wrath this. I think since it dies for free, we'll just let it die. Six damage really goes a long way here. This is a huge freeze. Let's see what's in this box. <laughs> There's that. A 
Like, we can always Wrath this next turn. We're not going to be able to use it. I, I'm going to save the Wrath. Because really, honestly, this dying next turn, it's not necessarily going to make a big difference, especially if he gets a team up in lane one. This is rough, though. That was a great freeze. Another Gorgologist. Doesn't really matter which one, right? These two are the same. We have enough brains. So he's going cosmic. Nah, he's looking for the shrimp for two, I guess. What's that? Okay, so the option is hold wrath, not play it. The other option is just play it in lane three. The question is, how do we win if we play it in lane three? We need another removal card. Man, a going viral would, <laughs> would, have, would have won us the game here. It keeps the health on this up. I think because it keeps the health on this up, that's going to be the other consideration. It's a 4 2. That's the other consideration. You know, he's going to be playing here. This will just stay alive and get value for a long time. But he's got some really big threat. We're sitting on 20 health. We just need now either a Wrath or a Going Viral. Going Viral works. Okay, what is with the plant food situation? We have to block this lane, so we're just going to take 8. Again, he could have... He only has 2 cards. I mean, he could have double plant food. He'll win, you know? That's not enough! That's not enough! It's only a 5, only a 5-5 five, five against a 6, so it'll be a 7-6 Armored Frenzy for the win! We got him. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> what a game. What a game. What a life. So we lose one game early. On um, the guy who had three banana bombs and we didn't get any of our late game. And uh, then we win seven straight. Take those. Espresso Fiesta, yeah, oh great. Who runs out of Captain Combustible? We did recently do a really, really, really good. I still been playing it offline. Espresso Fiesta deck with Chompzilla. Holy crap. Not only is it the best Espresso Fiesta deck, that deck is a monster. It is so freaking powerful. So now what? Uh, Quasar is a decent card against Rose. It's a body plus a trick. The bodies, man, in this in this game. In this deck, in a trick mech deck. How would we play this, though? One, two, three. Okay, this is going to be fine. I bit do the sun. So, he doesn't go after this. I'm not, I'm not going to spend another... You know, if you spend a trick on this, then it gets go to fighter mogged. So, you don't do that. If he had Weed Whack, he, used that. he uses it already. We could go Quasar here, man. We got to develop tempo. It's more important. So now, so now, now we'll do this. But honestly, this is probably more important card than the teacher, so we'll buff the teacher and make him have to choose. So we don't have a guard yet, so it's Quasar, and also puts another guy to buff Genetic. It's fine. Okay, hammer. Again, none of that. There's there's weed whack on a two two. There's no need to use a uh, superpower. Here rolls a three there. That hurt. Goat. Okay. <laughs> Rose doing Rose things. So we have the the goat, and he has mystery superpower still in his hand. Mog freeze. And I don't think it was weed whack. So he either has Mog or freeze, and weed whack sitting here. Then the other Mogger Freeze is sitting here. So it's gonna be uh, a shrinking violet, though. Up into the sun. <laughs> if he shrinkings this, it's the same as getting the 2 2, it doesn't matter. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> lightning bolt, got some of that lightning, man. We actually could have the the wrath now. 
I think because of um, face, we're going to have to chip him to death. That's just how this game is going. I'm going to commit the bat. It's not going to end up drawing a card. He's not going to have a minion played that doesn't have a minion in front. It's just a chance of that happening in the next two turns. It's very unlikely. So let's just... I mean, we have a lot of chip here. A lot of chips. You know, it's consider at six health if you have four. <laughs> and he doesn't have a shrinking violet, apparently, or else he goes for that instead of the snapdragon. Any day. Yeah, it looks like the six damage wrath just died. So we protect the one that's hitting face this turn. Instead of the teacher. The teacher, again, we're, we're at a late stage. Oh my gosh, this guy in his threes! We really wanted this one to be the one to proc the block. So he does freeze that one. But he's down to two health. We have no board. We need a wrath. A wrath just wins. Unless he has heals. This this does three splash. This is alive again. I love it. It's just pressure. And then this three damage trades. So he has really three lanes causing lethal here with six sun. Okay, Sage Sage. Uh, maybe we need to make a Sage Sage. Oh my gosh, now he has... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we need a Wrath, man. We're not going to win without Wrath. We need a Wrath. So why I can stand on Wrath. How do we do this? The Gargala just goes here, maybe? Alright. He has a Mog still, doesn't he? We need... It doesn't do enough! No, don't heal! <laughs> no! Ah, uh, we lose. That is that because unfortunately it does it heals him for six now. Well, I don't even. Okay, well we have to kill the healing. There's no options here. And then a going viral may a quasar. There's a, there's a few things that the going viral and the quasar is what we need to get back in this game. There's dragon. Why not here though? Why not here and hit our face? Because it makes a second ag, who cares? This does not heal since it dies. Please go left. Please go left. We need this card. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Is Wrath even playable? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's that's a playable card. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We can win. No second dragon. No second dragon. Second dragon, we lose. No, no, no. He's running squash. Oh, no, no. Come on, Mini Ninja! Come on, Mini Ninja! Come on! The Tennis Champ! Let's go! Let's go! No! <laughs> what is... Do we keep this card? Well, we can't really play this together with something next turn. Okay, it's all about the chip guy. No, but he's doing sick. He's healing for six. We got a zero attack... You know we got a zero attack guy there, man. And we can't catch up with this anymore. Oh, he's at 10. We need a Garg. What is this garbage? <laughs> Come on, Egg. Come on, <laughs> The guy's got the splash heal deck. What the? What the heal is this? Uh, if he rolls a 1, he actually does not heal, so we might have a ch chance in this game. A chance? A stinking chance. That's a strength. But he's healing for a million, and we can't do anything with him. We can't play the strength later, because he has dark matter. Dark matter, I don't know. Something for it. We totally lose here, don't we? We like totally lose. We like totally. We can't double wrath. No, we totally lose. Yeah, we well, if he explodes this barrel, the wrath actually saves us now. Thank you for exploding that, my friend. I appreciate it. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> I 
Hey, we can actually play two of them. Oh, that's so cool. It doesn't matter, but it's cool. <laughs> Very cool indeed. All right, guys, we're in a seven and two scenario. God damn it, Rose. How was that throwing? I wasn't throwing. If he didn't have if he didn't have this flytrap plan, I would have won that game easy. <laughs> All right, guys, Green Shadow. This is the we've played this our like third or fourth Green Shadow today. I don't know what is going on with that. Not a very popular hero, but uh, that's a fine starting hint. Uh, we'll live and die with him having a one drop. That's right, spam seven and two. No, it's not one of these. It's not one of these Admiral Navy being hackers, right? Whenever I see Admiral on one, I'm like, oh, he's hacking. This guy, especially against Zemek. Who the hell runs that against Zemek? Don't do it. Don't be one of those guys. Thank God. Thank the law. Thank Jesus. Merry Christmas, guys. Okay, we have no choice. We have to. We have to blast that one. Man, he played into our ultimate. Too bad we didn't have it. This is fine. This is fine. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a good card. <laughs> I guess we have to get value from it to play it here, right? Soft hacker. Soft hacking intens intensifies. Okay, we pass. We don't. We definitely don't play this game. Well, come on, super. Come on, super. Ah! Well, <laughs> well. And you know what? Screw it. I'm not using this anyway. We'll do it next turn with something. Yes. No lucky blow. Good freeze though. Yes! That is fine. Still might be a soft attacker. Come on, Gargologist. Sweet teacher. Hell yeah. We got Wrath to face now. He waited till I play teacher to play blow, right? And he got it. <laughs> Come on, man. The bro ain't right. Stop blowing the teacher, bro. Now we're good. Oh, we gotta do that. Now we good. Bye, Admirals. I don't care. He has two beans in his hands. I think I give a damn. And then anything he play, he can't play two unwrathable minions here. He could go double Snowdrop. That's possible. That's game. Ah, here. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Got it. All right, guys. We got the eight and two. That's what I'm talking about. Never vote against Trick Mac, guys. All the trick mix. It's so freaking good. The answer is yes. That guy was scary. Double Admiral. We, we got our z -Max super early. Oh my gosh. I've been playing a lot of offline. You see 121 stars this month. And the season's not even close to resetting. Maybe there are no more seasons. It could be this season that actually goes forever. Someone... I don't know. Someone came in to the stream one time. It's probably BS. Someone came in and said there's only... A certain phone over with 60 40 seasons programmed to the game, and this was the last one. So, if you guys know how to date on mine, let me. Where's Ginta? We need Ginta Gaming to to dig dig into the dig into the into the game code. All right, guys, and without without Garfeast, I'm just rubbing it in. Without Garfeast, we got eight and two with Trick Guard Mech. What a cool deck, man! No regrets. Um, the, well, the fruitcakes have saved us in that game with the uh, with the dragon fruit? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly did. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.